In this video, we do an overview of how to set up a company in Andorra step by step. We'll also cover what you will need to take into account when creating a company, the two legal entity company type differences, plus what official documents and paperwork is required. We'll also cover how to get approval for foreign investment when you invest as a non-resident. First step, choose the company entity type. Andorra has basically two entity types. We will cover what each of them means, what function they perform, and what capital is needed. Societat Anomina company, acronymed as SA, is similar to a public limited company model, with a minimum capital required of 60,000 euros. This capital will be divided into shares specified in the company's articles of association. All the operations have to be registered by a notary. A Societat Limitada, acronymed as SL, is similar to a limited liability company, LLC, or member companies. These are companies with one or a few associates and are adapted to a business with a single or few shareholders. SLU would be the abbreviation of a single shareholder SL. An initial €3,000 in capital is required. We will now turn to a step-by-step -step procedure to create a company in Andorra. Once you have selected the company entity type to complete the creation of your company in Andorra, you must follow these steps. You must first request an NIA, that's a Numero de Identificación Administrative, which is an identification number for non-residents. It is essential to ask for a reservation of a corporate name called a Solicitud de Reserva de Dominación Social to the Andorran Administration. Your company's name can be in any language and is no longer required to be in Catalan. In addition, the corporate name must differentiate from any registered company or trademarks registered in Andorra to avoid any ambiguity. However, you can use a proper name as well as the name of another foreign company if the latter is not established in Andorra and on the condition that you have it approved by the Andorran authorities. In order to register a corporate company name, you only have to send a digital copy of your passport or DNI to the Andorran lawyer together with the request form. Once the name of your company has been approved, you must apply for a foreign investment authorization from the government to incorporate the company. You will need to provide the following documents to the Andorran authorities. Uh, the authorization for the corporate name, an outline in the business plan showing the expected turnover, geographical distribution of your business activity and expected initial investment. A copy of identification document of each shareholder legalised with an apostille of Den Haag. A criminal record certificate of each associate with more than 10% participation legalised with the apostille of Den Haag. Further information and activity, for example, countries of providers and clients, operation activity description, and the investors, their CVs, etc., must also be given. The government may take between two to four weeks to accept or reject your foreign investment application. Now we turn to corporate bank account opening and compliance. Banking compliance is very important and banks may ask for the following to open a corporate account. A profile of the investors, their CV, etc. Tax reports of the investors, origin of funds and operations of the account. When it comes to compliance, it's important that you have help. 
that at a corporate bank account you may not deposit the share capital and therefore no company can be formed with a corporate bank account in the opening process. Now let's turn to company formation at the notary. Following the government's authorization to incorporate your company, you next have to consult a notary in order for them to write a public document about your company and then enter it into the Andorran Trade Register, the Register Mercantile. A notary appointment will be your first formal visit to the principality if you incorporate from abroad. During this visit, you might also be required to formalise your corporate bank account. Once you successfully finish these steps, your company will be a formal legal identity in Andorra. However, having a registered company does not mean you can trade officially. Any trading company requires an active trade code and a physical place of business for your commercial authorization to be registered. To finish this, you need to provide the trading name authorization, the lease contract of your company's office to the municipality where it will be headquartered. Some offices or spaces require fire extinguisher as well as an electricity line to be registered with your commercial authorization. Further, you have to ask the tax administration for a registered number or numero de registra tributari, as well as the company's CASS number if hiring employees in the future. Finally, with all these steps completed, the bank will require proof of your commercial address to make sure you meet with the economic substance requirements. Your bank account remains blocked for trading activities until this moment. The entire process takes about 12 weeks and most of the steps require the presentation documents of various government instances. Only two of the current 12 steps in the company formation are completely digitized. You are right to think that this is a complex and tedious process. While we have covered as much as possible for a basic introduction, consultancy is needed to guide you through this process. Do not hesitate to contact our advisors in order to find out what steps you will need consultancy. Thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe. Goodbye.